Up next on WHAS 11 News, the cards are bowl game bound. We'll tell you where they're going. And who ordered an assassination attempt on President Bush? We'll tell you who stopped the plan. Get the ball, Cody. The furniture you've been longing for. Rhodes. Simple. Inspired. Yours. During our sale of the season, you'll find big savings like $100 off our Melrose sofa. Now just $4.99. Plus, no down payment, no interest, and no payments until 2007. Sale ends December 6th, so hurry in to the sale of the season at Rhodes. You could say that I know life's harsh realities. Born premature with a disability, I grew up in an orphanage. Jobless and homeless, as a single parent, we lived in an abandoned ice cream truck. But we never gave up hope. When I found Goodwill, I found help. They gave me the stability that I needed to raise my family. Turning dreams into reality. Goodwill Industries of Kentucky. We raise the bar on design. We push the limits of performance. Now, every great story deserves a happy ending. It's Nissan's national year-end event. Get year-end deals on every Nissan you see. Cars, trucks, and SUVs. And lease the all-new 7-passenger Pathfinder for just $3.29 a month. Hurry to your Nissan dealer while the story continues. Because this event ends soon. Hey, hey, remember me? Keep ignoring me and it's going to cost, my friend. We get pulled over for anything and you're not wearing the belt. Hello, Mr. Ticket. And they are so out there looking for us right now. Hey, you hearing me? Oh, no, I ain't taking the blame for this. In Kentucky, seat belts are the law. If you're stopped for a violation and we catch you without one, you will be ticketed. So buckle up. It's the law. And it's enforced. Bet if I'd been Mr. Check Engine Light, you would have paid attention, huh? Or shouldn't be the only thing that calls for an instant replay. And now it's not. Pause and rewind live TV. Record and store any program from any channel. Watch them anytime you want. It's all in your control with DVR. So see what you're missing and make the switch from satellite to Insight Digital. Call 877-4-INSIGHT today and get digital cable with DVR for $5 a month for the first two months plus free installation. You can even record me. We raise the bar on design. We push the limits of performance. Now, every great story deserves a happy ending. It's Nissan's national year-end event. Get year-end deals on every Nissan you see. Cars, trucks, and SUVs. And lease the all-new 7-passenger Pathfinder for just $3.29 a month. Hurry to your Nissan dealer while the story continues. Because this event ends soon. Live from WHAS 11 News, this is coverage you can count on. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Renee Murphy. It's a football story that's reached out into the community. The Louisville Cardinals are having one of their best seasons ever. And today they played in their final home game this year, continuing to dominate their opponents. WHAS 11's Coast Sports Director Drew Diener is joining us now with a look at where they're headed in the postseason, Drew. Well, I think it's a team that's excited to be going to the postseason. I think it's fair to say they're not thrilled at where they're going, but they really have no control over that. There's no doubt this Cards football team would like a shot at one of the so-called big boys of college football when the bowl season rolls around. But the way the system is set up in college football, the Cards will be headed to Memphis for the Liberty Bowl. UofL never looked back today, routing Cincinnati 70-7 to at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. The Conference USA winner is contractually bound to the Liberty Bowl, and after the game, representatives from that bowl were on hand to extend the Cards the bid. But some of the players did admit their excitement for going to Memphis is tempered. A little sad, a little happy, mixed feelings. Um, I've been to the Liberty my second time going. It feels good to be champions. But, you know, you always want a little more. You know what I mean? Uh, Fiesta Bowl would have been nice. Something like the Outback would have been nice. But Liberty Bowl is nothing to really frown at. So they'll be taking on Boise State in that Liberty Bowl. That's a, a, a me, New Year's Eve game, December 31st, and it's the third trip back there for the Cards. Well, things can really turn around for them once they head into the Big East. So. Really, it's, if they're in the same situation next year, they're in one of those bowls, and they're getting a $14 million payout. All right. Thanks very much, Drew. All we'll right. check with you a little bit later sure. on the show. 
Rain and cold weather didn't keep Cards fans from celebrating the last home game of the season. WHAS 11's Chloe Friedman caught up with some tailgaters who were out early to root on the home team. They're hot. No, this is Fort Tenderloin. No, we're not referring to the tailgaters' bait. We're talking about a team that's on fire and loyal fans who are equally energized at the last home game of the season. Yeah, they're doing great. I think it's wonderful. Hopefully Coach Trino stays and we got a good program and keep things going. <laughs> the fans came out early. We were actually going to come out and do breakfast to host their team. We will, we will rock you. Most have um, a favorite season highlight. Probably when we held Kentucky to nothing. It's a bittersweet season. The graduating quarterback fun. has inspired many, including some of these young ones. From tossing around a football to preparing a tailgating feast, teamwork Go. Go came into play. And did we mention Cardinal fans even come equipped with fashion tips? Me, go cards, red gloves, which everybody's supposed to have, according to Oprah. So. Most of the season, the cards couldn't be stopped. And for the last home game of the season, nothing could stop their fans from celebrating either. We'd be out here, rain, sleet, or snow. It's wonderful. Chloe Friedman, WHAS 11 News. The team wraps up its season next week on the road at Tulane. We'll have complete highlights of the Louisville's Liberty Bowl clinching victory coming up a little bit later on in sports. And if you're looking to go to the Liberty Bowl, tickets are already on sale for the December 31st game through the UofL ticket office. Tickets do cost $40. You can call the number there on your screen, 852-5151, or you can call 852-5863 to start your order on Monday. The fall meet came to a close this afternoon at Churchill Downs. Those from the track say overall they are pleased with this year's 21-day meet. They say attendance was up about 10% and say wagering was also up about 8%. But off-track wagering was down 2%. The meet was also marked by protest. Jockey Tony D'Amico was injured in a bad spill during a race. That sparked a controversy over jockeys' health insurance coverage at the Downs, prompting some jockeys to sit out for some of the races. Authorities in southern Indiana are investigating an armed robbery at a welcome center near Georgetown, Indiana. The Floyd County Sheriff's Department says a person was stabbed and robbed at this rest stop and welcome center just off of Interstate 64. It happened around 7.30 this evening. Police are still looking for suspects and the victim's condition is unknown at this time. One person is dead after a fatal accident on Dixie Highway. The accident happened around 3.30 this afternoon, just north of West Point. Police say the driver of a blue pickup truck heading north collided with a silver Honda heading south. The driver of the Honda was pronounced dead on the scene. The pickup truck driver was taken to University Hospital with life-threatening injuries. The highway was closed for about four hours as police cleared the road. Police are still looking for a cause. Storm Team Meteorologist Jeremy Kappel has an early look at your forecast. It was cold and wet today. Is Sunday looking any better, Jeremy? We do have better news coming up in the forecast for the, the rest of your weekend, Renee. But again, it was very wet once again this afternoon. Let's take a look at MetroCam right now. Still some wet streets out there. If you're going to be out and about this evening, you might want to take a little extra time. But the heavier showers that we've had around the area for much of the day today have been Again, to move well away from our viewing area. Take a look at Storm Team uh, Doppler radar right now. No rainfall in the metro region. If we pan out a little wider, the rains have moved up towards Cincinnati and much of Ohio. We will be dry for your Sunday. Here's a look at your forecast tomorrow. Looking pretty good. In fact, we're expecting partly cloudy skies. It will be quite chilly to start off your day. 36 degrees at 8 a.m., 45 at noon, and your high t uh, temperature tomorrow right around 50 degrees. It's pretty close to where it should be. But we do have more rainfall in the forecast and some more cold temperatures. Stick around for that coming up. Renee? All right. Thanks very much, Jeremy. This is a special Thanksgiving holiday for one family who made it home to Louisville. Having completed one tour of duty in Iraq last year, Captain Aaron Miller, a 1993 graduate of PRP High School, is sure to go back for another tour in 2005. WHAS 11's Tony Hyatt got a chance to sit down with the family tonight before they head back home to Fort Campbell. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Little Nathan Miller turned one last month. His brother Nicholas will be turning three on Christmas Day. Their dad Aaron knows just how precious this and any holiday can be right now. I'm probably about 90% sure. Most of the guys I work with are sure. We know we're going. We just don't know when or where. So we know it's going to be in a, probably in a rack rotation. We cherish the time we have together. 
especially like the holidays because <laughs> you know he may not be here next Thanksgiving and no. I just have to think about these boys and do the you know spend the best time that we can with their father. Miller joined the army in 1999. He says he really has not been paying very close attention to Iraq. Since he left last year, he was able to get home before Nathan was born. Before he left, though, he was in the process of helping train Iraq security forces. The group has been a prime target for insurgents. I'll be nervous probably wherever we go for the first three, four months. But you know, the longer you stay in an area and you get to know, you know, the leadership and the, and the people, you, you know, you can gain some kind of a, you know sense for what's going on over there. He also says America had to make a stand in that recent effort to fight the insurgents in Fallujah. He believes it will eventually pay off for American and coalition forces. And every day we're over there, we're turning a corner. And every day we get close to establishing the, the government and getting them up on their feet and showing them that we're not afraid and, and they're not gonna scare us out of Iraq. I'm scared of that for him to go back. You know, I'm more dangerous now than it was, and, you know, it's, it scares me to death that he's going to go back. But I know it's his job, and that's part of it. Tony Hyatt, WHAS 11 News. Aaron and Amanda say one of the big highlights of the holiday, they got tickets to today's UofL Cincinnati game. And the captain, who was a big Cardinal fan, says that he may try to find some Liberty Bowl tickets as soon as he gets back home to Fort Campbell. Authorities are trying to determine if there are any casualties after a U.S. military vehicle was damaged. The rear of an armored military bus was damaged today in a blast on the highway near the Baghdad International Airport. Insurgents usually target U.S. convoys on the airport road. This area is considered one of the most dangerous roadways in Iraq. Iraq's senior Shiite political politician does not support postponing the upcoming elections. Sunni Muslims are calling for an Iraqi government to hold off on the process because of diminishing security in the country. The interim constitution and the UN Security Council have mandated a ballot by the end of January to meet demands by religious leaders of the Shiite community. New intelligence information tonight reveals there was an assassination attempt ordered on President Bush. The largest guerrilla group in Colombia is behind the call, according to a senior Colombian official. President Bush was targeted in the country was targeted in the country last Monday when he was there discussing drug policies. The Colombian authorities insist the assassination attempt was stopped by heavy security around the president during his visit. Citgo Petroleum has agreed to pay almost $35,000 in penalties after federal inspectors said a program at its Louisville terminal needed improvements. The program stems from spills at the plant. The company agreed to install new ways to alert workers of leaking vapors. Officials say the violations fall into the moderate category. Police are still trying to figure out who killed a Pepsi-Cola executive and his wife. Winston Brent Springford and his wife Charlotte were killed in their Montgomery, Alabama home yesterday. Investigators say based on some of the evidence, it looks as if the Springfords knew their attacker. Mr. Springford was the president of the Pepsi-Cola bottling plant in the nearby city of Luverne. But at this point, we don't know what the motive is or who the suspects may be, so we don't want to release information that may jeopardize the integrity of the investigation. Police say the couple's black 1998 Jaguar is also missing. One of the hunters killed in a gruesome hunting dispute in Wisconsin was laid to rest today. Alan Lasky was killed with five others last weekend. Five hunters found a man trespassing on their property and when they confronted the man he shot them at point blank range. 35 year old Chai Ving of St. Paul, Minnesota is being held on a 2.5 million dollar bail but he has not been charged yet. At least 13 people are dead and dozens are injured after an earthquake rocked a remote part of Indonesia. Rescuers fear more people could be trapped under the debris. Seismologists recorded 87 aftershocks after the main quake du during most of the damage. At least 170 buildings were destroyed and a major shipping port was heavily damaged. This isn't the first time this area has been hit hard by an earthquake. A February quake killed 28 people. Still ahead on WHAS 11 News, it's a remote that most of us use almost every day. Ever wonder why it takes so long for garage door openers to work? We'll give you a hint. It has something to do with the government. And local act...
and local actors take the stage in a holiday classic. Monday at 5 on WHAS 11 News. The shot that shrinks tumors. This medication is giving cancer patients a new lease on life. A must-see medical breakthrough developed here in Louisville. Then, the quest for the perfect hand may be hazardous to your health. Is it FDA approved or do you know? There's still a bunch of mist in the air. New information you need to know before getting a spray on tan. Coverage you can count on continues Monday at 5 on WHAS 11 News. Chevy Silverado Half-Ton Crew Cab. Tuesday is the final day of one week to deal. Before November 30th, buy any new Dodge and make no monthly payments until April 2005. Or lease and pay no security deposit. Plus, get an additional $2,500 November bonus cash and 0% financing for up to $8,400 in total savings on 04 Ram 1500. Plus, grab Dodge's 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty. But you've got to get it in gear because one week to deal on America's hottest products ends Tuesday. Fast-paced finances, dollar-driven deals. It's about being all you can be in the business world, but you need a place to start. At Sullivan University, we'll help you build a solid base for business in only 12 to 18 months. You decide on a flexible schedule that fits your busy lifestyle. Call today, 456-6505. Make more money with a business degree from Sullivan University. This weekend, Ashley Furniture Home Store kicks off the holiday season with a free gift everyone will love. A feature-rich DVD player with ProScan, Dolby Digital, DVD, MP3, CD, CDR, CDR, W compatible, slow and fast motion plays, new operation, for analog, on-screen display, quadruple digital app, optical digital app, analog, audio app, S-video out, in a compact size chassis with a full function remote. Free with any furniture purchase. Well, it's not just any furniture, it's Ashley, America's best-selling brand of home furniture. Now with no interest and no payments till 2006. Better hurry, these free DVD players won't last. Monday, it's over. Honey, let's go run away Let our hearts go out and play Come on, baby It's closing weekend at Churchill Downs Featuring four stakes worth $1.2 million Thanksgiving Day through closing day Saturday Gates open 10 a.m. First race 11.30 a.m. each day Chevy Silverado half-ton crew cab. Fact. More standard horsepower than Dodge. More standard torque than Ford. That's why Silverado is the right truck. Get a specially equipped 05 Silverado with these available option package discounts combined with total cash back for a $5,000 total value with GMAC financing. Chevy, the official truck of an American revolution. See your local Chevy dealer. If you're having trouble opening your garage door, the Pentagon may be to blame. The 30-year-old radio wave system used for garage door remote controls is shared by a Defense Department program. Julie Valise tells us who might be affected and when and what can be done to solve the problem. It's simple, but it works. Garage door technology has been nearly flawless for the past 25 years. But the Defense Department's land mobile radio program is being modified as a post-9-11 security measure, and it shares the same frequency. This has, for example, a large homeland security component to it. We can work better with first responders from the local communities. We can work better in uh, marshalling federal responses. The industry says homeowner security may be at risk. If latchkey kids uh, coming home from school can no longer get into their home because the keypad on the outside of the garage door is being interfered with by the Pentagon system. We believe that poses a real safety risk. Problems have surfaced in Florida and Pennsylvania. I couldn't get in and I worked and worked and worked with it. The system also has been deployed in Washington, D.C. and New York with no reported problems. Garage door openers use an unlicensed frequency, which means there's one condition for use. If the government chooses to use that frequency at any time, for any reason, it can, without prior notification. The garage door industry acknowledges it knew that condition and accepted it. 
The FCC, the military, and the industry are trying to figure out what to do about it. DOD goes out of its way to try to be a good neighbor. The neighborly thing to do, the industry says, is really for the Pentagon to adjust their system a bit. That's unlikely. For now, there are two solutions. The homeowner can purchase a kit to change their frequency, or the industry can change the frequency for new garage door openers. In the meantime, will doors start opening and closing? No. Could door openers stop working? Maybe. More likely, though, you might just have to be a little closer for the door to open. In Rockville, Maryland, Julie Valise, WHAS 11. And those kits that she was talking about, they cost about $30. A Christmas tradition started tonight at the Actors Theater. You peeked into the soul of humanity, heard the carol on its lips. It was opening night for A Christmas Carol. This is the troupe's 29th year performing the Charles Dickens classic. And this year, they have a new cast, a new script, and a new dazzling set for audiences. On December 3rd, the theater will mark its milestone 1,000th performance of the Christmas ca classic. The show runs now through December 23rd. That's always one of the fun things about the holiday season. You have the Nutcracker or Christmas Carol, all the fun plays that Absolutely. you like to see. Today, a good day to do anything indoors in a <laughs> yeah, a, exactly. a play or whatnot. A uh, lot of rainfall again today. It's just been an unbelievable month as far as rainfall is concerned and a year for that matter. But uh, for right now, we're looking okay, okay. Renee. The <laughs> rain has left in the Louisville metro region. Let's take a look outside. Still some wet streets to deal with, but uh, that's okay. We put the push the showers well off to our east at this point. Things are beginning to look a little bit better. Storm Tracker 3D radar. The showers continuing for parts of Ohio, the Appalachians, the Middle Atlantic, but they're moving away from us, and we will continue to be dry for the rest of the night tonight. Let's take a look at the big picture now. We've got the, obviously one storm system that has been impacting our weather for much of the day today. If we can go over to the weather computer for this one. Here was uh, our first system and gave us all the showers earlier today, but now it's beginning to push away from us and will continue to lift off to the north and east. Second system that we will be watching coming up during this forecast period is now in Southern California, area of low pressure bringing showers, some mountain snows, and this is going to be a pretty fast mover as it is expected to arrive here by Tuesday with a pretty good bet for rainfall as it rides that jet stream back in across the Ohio Valley later on this week. For today, though, your high temperature with the showers, 50 degrees earlier this afternoon, 45 Five degrees, you're low, and uh, you're high actually pretty close to where you should be for this time of the year, well away from those records out there. Rainfall today, well, it, it was moderate. It, uh, at times, we saw some moderate showers out there, I should say, but temperatures, I should say, uh, the actual rainfall amounts range from about three tenths of an inch up to about four tenths of an inch down towards Fer Fern Creek, Height Creek as well. Officially at WHAS 11, we picked up about 0.34 inches, and at the Weather Service office, 0.36 inches of rainfall for today. You add that to what we've already seen this November, and you end up with a very large number, 7.6 inches of rainfall. Now for November, that is good for the fourth wettest November on record. You add that to the year, and now our yearly total up to 59.31 inches, and that is the fifth wettest year on record. And what's most impressive about this standard here is that we still have more than a month ago in the year 2004. It does not look like any more rainfall will be in the forecast tomorrow. We do have dry conditions, a cool Sunday on the way. But yes, another rainmaker is in your forecast. 44 right now, a brisk northwest wind as a cool front has made its way through the region. Temperatures even cooler to the north and west, 38 degrees in St. Louis, 37 in Chicago. Some of that cooler air will be here by tomorrow morning. As our front begins or continues to lift away from us, we'll pick up that west and northwest wind. But high pressure nosing in tomorrow will give us drier air. Temperatures will be cool all day tomorrow, but with some sunshine and some lighter winds, it shouldn't be too bad of a day. Already as we head towards Monday, though, we're looking at moisture returning from the west. Showers to our west by mo Monday morning. Even snow expected for the plains. Tonight, decreasing clouds late tonight, 36 degrees, your low temperature. For your Sunday, not a bad way to wrap up the weekend. 50, your high northwest wind at 10 to 15. Clouds increase on Monday. Good bet for rainfall Tuesday. Kind of a nasty day. Temperatures in the 40s, middle 40s on Wednesday with showers ending. Renee? All right. Thanks very much, Jeremy. And here are some of the headlines that you'll see in tomorrow's Courier Journal. State's public defenders swamped Kentucky sees Louisiana use slots to help horse racing. And Kentucky's lost treasures are going on eBay. And WHAS 11's Drew Diener is joining us now with a look at what's coming up next in sports. Drew? 
We're ready to cats try for another big upset in Knoxville, but it was another Tennessee tease once again. We'll find out. And the cards, hey, they're headed to the Liberty Bowl after getting to Cincinnati out in the rain on Senior Day. That's all coming up next on WHS 11 after the timeout. They deserve a good meal. Like the new tender baby back ribs at Golden Corral for just $8.99. Cooked to perfection every Friday and Saturday night for a limited time on the dinner buffet. Golden Corral. Everyone deserves a good meal. on your mind in one place. WHAS11.com. Now even better than before. Wow! Mom got us a Tia pack. T -t -t tia How does it work? It's fun and easy. Yeah! Just soak your Tia pet, spread the seeds, add water, and watch it grow. T -t -t tia Excellent! Grow a whole collection of fun with all Chia pets, including Chia Hippo and Chia Bunny. A great gift for everyone on your list. Chia Pets and Chia Heads, the pottery that grows. Available at Kmart, CVS Eckerd, Rite Aid, and Walgreens. On the next Live with Regis and Kelly, the O.C.'s Peter Gallagher is here. Oh, so exciting. What's it like to star in one of TV's hottest shows? I got lucky. Regis and Kelly get the scoop. Plus, NASCAR champion Kurt Busch takes a victory lap in July. Talk about full throttle. <laughs> then Kenny G and Yolanda Adams perform a duet. Great day. Start here on the next Live. Regis and Kelly, Monday at 9 on WHAS 11. For the sixth time this year, the Cards were on national TV, and for the third time, they had a chance to clinch Conference USA. Senior day for the Cards, as they, they said goodbye to their most successful senior class ever, Stefan LaFours. You see his family, of course, the sign language from them. And boy, this is, needs no translation here. Eric Shelton, first offensive play of the game, 80 yards. He has gone to the house. Paul Petrino, Eric Shelton said they all dreamed this play up. More on that in just a bit. Stefan LaFours to Montrell Jones. That's his first receiving TD as a card, believe it or not. 43 yards on the score, 14 nothing Louisville. And Cincinnati, not their day. Brandon Johnson blocks it. Nobody else would pick it up, so he picked it up and ran it in. 21 nothing. Cards roll 70 to 7. And as for that first run, it seems everyone had a vision of it, starting with offensive coordinator Paul Petrino. Offense coordinator yesterday in our meeting said, you know, however long that kickoff return is on the opening kickoff, to be ready. It could be 80 yards, it could be 50 yards. However, wherever we start off, if they give us this look, you know, we got this play call, and it's going to work. And sure enough, way back at Utah State one time, we opened the spring game like that. And Paul all week long was saying, this is going to be just like the spring game. We're going to score on it and score on it. And so uh, I guess maybe Paul's got a little ESP. It felt good. I actually dreamed about it last night and, you know, taking a long run for a touchdown. Um, offensive line did a great job. How about those clairvoyant cards? After the game, representatives from the AutoZone Liberty Bowl presented the cards their bid, although the UL fans hope probably for a bigger matchup, possibly Notre Dame and that Liberty Bowl. The bowl director talked about why that scenario would not work. At this point, Notre Dame is off the table for us. Uh, they are contractually obligated uh, to the Big East Bowl uh, partners. Uh, again, uh, we're out there looking, uh, and you're going to see the results of this weekend. Hopefully things will work out with Boise. In my opinion, if, if we play a Boise State, this is a BCS game without $14 million. And I don't think anybody can argue that point. I, I think you'll see matchups in the BCS that won't be nearly as good as this. Okay, how about Kentucky? What would they do today against Tennessee? Well, looking like upset here. Jacob Tammy on the touchdown reception from Shane Boyd. Kentucky has a 10-7 lead. Then Clausen's pass here. Brandon Clausen, it's tipped. Sweet P. Burns scoops it up. Kentucky on top, 17-7. Looking for a good way to end the season. But Tennessee came back with some trickery. And you see on the pass... 
It's going to be Claza to Faton who cuts it down the field. And this would set up a touchdown that would make it a two-point ball game, 31-29. Gerald Riggs under 45 seconds to go. And heartbreak for Kentucky again. They lose it. Final score, 37-31. to I just think that uh, they came in here and we were this close to doing something that, that Kentucky hasn't done to Tennessee in 20 years. You know, I mean, we had it. We played a hell of a game and the wrong team won. Coming in here and knew they were beatable. Came real close to doing it, you know, and this is just like a flashback to my freshman year. When, you know, we dropped that pass right at the end and thought we had it, but I mean, it doesn't make it any easier. But, you know, I'm real proud of the way we played. Coming up, it's a trip to the hardwood, Indiana, having its hands full with Western Illinois. This one went down to the wire. We'll tell you how it finished next. WHAS 11, your official winter weather closing station. Everyone in the WHAS 11 newsroom knows that weather is our number one priority. At the first sign of severe winter weather, our severe weather plan is put into action. Reporters, photojournalists, live trucks, and Sky 11 are dispatched. Producers, directors, and the technical team prepare to keep you informed. WHAS 11 Storm Team Weather Coverage is truly a team effort. It's coverage you can count on to keep you and your family safe. WHAS11.com, Kentuckiana's link to breaking news and weather coverage you can count on. Local and national news, breaking news email alerts, top story ticker, and streaming video taking you to the scene. WHAS11.com, your source for WHAS11 storm team weather and the resources of WHAS11 news at your fingertips. At home, at work, interactive 24 hours a day. WHAS11.com, coverage you can count on. The Nissan Giant has done it again. Collins Nissan has the largest selection of Nissans in the area, all at sale prices. And every Nissan model is available inside, under cover in Collins' large showroom. The Nissan Giant has over 150 new Nissans in stock now. A great new showroom, the largest selection, great prices. Only at the Nissan Giant. Collins Indiana was trying to start the season 2-0 as they welcomed a winless Western Illinois team to town as we take you up to Assembly Hall and see what the Hoosiers were up to. Well, it was a close one. IU down four late. Under three minutes to go, D.J. White gets the basket and the foul, cuts the lead to two. Western Illinois comes back. Will Lewis, he ties it at 58. But it was White down the stretch for Indiana. He's going to get the bucket and one. Puts IU on top. And then Western Illinois, Fred Ogans. Going to get a chance to tie this game up, but his shot is no good. Indiana goes on to win it 64 to 60, your final score. Boy, that Indiana Kentucky game is just two weeks from today. Is a basketball season uh -oh. finally upon us? <laughs> yes. Yep. All right. Well, thanks very much, Drew. Alrighty. We'll be right back. Come on, baby. It's closing weekend at Churchill Downs featuring four stakes worth $1.2 million. Thanksgiving Day through Closing Day Saturday. Gates open 10 a.m., first race 11.30 a.m. each day. Ringing telephones are nothing new at a safe auto call center. 24 hours a day, drivers call from around the nation for immediate coverage. Because without it, they run the risk of paying heavy fines, or worse, having their car impounded. That's right. And hearing a tow truck hooking up to your car is the ultimate feeling of helplessness. And worse, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Unless you act now. Representatives are standing by. Will you be our next caller? 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. We keep you legal for less. Hey, hey, remember me? Keep ignoring me and it's going to cost, my friend. We get pulled over for anything and you're not wearing a belt. Hello, Mr. Ticket. And they are so out there looking for us right now. Hey, you hearing me? Oh, no, I ain't taking the blame for this. In Kentucky, seat belts are the law. If you're stopped for a violation and we catch you without one, you will be ticketed. So buckle up. It's the law. And it's enforced. Bet if I'd been Mr. Check Engine Light, you would have paid attention, huh? 
It's a holiday celebration at Watson's. And everything for your dream game room is on sale. Including slate pool tables. From just $8.99. Ten models are priced under $19.99. Game and poker tables with game chairs priced from just $8.88. Choose from a huge selection of deluxe bars and canopy bars. Priced from as little as $3.88. Get huge savings on foosball tables, air hockey, electronic arcade games. And Vegas style slot machines too. Only at Watson's. We have all the fun. When winter weather threatens, count on the WHAS 11 Storm Team for official closing information. WHAS 11, coverage you can count on. Looks like a dry day for a change tomorrow, but it will be a bit cool. 36 at 8 a.m., you're going into church tomorrow, 45 degrees at noon, and 50, your high tomorrow afternoon. Dry day tomorrow, unfortunately, more changes in this extended. Renee, we're looking at clouds increasing again Monday, and already another good chance of rain here Tuesday, Wednesday. What a wet year it's been, and it looks like it will continue to be that. All right, well, at least we have Monday and Thursday to look forward to, and tomorrow. You've got <laughs> something out there, at least. <laughs> There's a little hope for us. <laughs> That's right, if you reach far enough. All right. Thanks very much, Jeremy. And thanks very much, Drew. And be sure to tune in to Good Morning Kentucky in a beginning at 6 a.m. Have a great night, everyone. Monday on Good Morning Kentucky, Anna. It's our first bootylicious guest. The man who taught Beyonce how to do her booty shake. Joins us live for a lesson. And they're the perfect plants for the holidays. How to take care of your poinsettias coming up on Monday. Wake up smart with coverage you can count on. Monday beginning at 5 a.m. on WHAS 11. life throws your way. Republic Bank now offers 0% interest for six months on a home equity line of credit. Call your local Republic Bank today to find out more about this special offer. Get a deal on a Honda Civic. Fa la 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 ooh la la. It's the car that wishes are It's happy for. Honda days for all, and the Honda Civic is at the top of your wish list. Winner of best overall value in its class by IntelliChoice. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving. Lease a Civic Value Package for $169 a month for 42 months with a $169 down payment. Your total drive-off is only $1108. Have a happy Honda day. Only at your Honda dealer. Happy Honda day. It's Disney's most musical musical, and it's live on stage. Disney's on the record. December 14th through 19th at the Palace. Good morning, Kentucky, at a Sunday, 6 to 8 a.m. on WHAS 11.